Yes. On other than Kobe Brown being a fantastic player, why was he so difficult for you guys to stop? He was difficult last year for us to stop. And he, what he's added is now you got to space out on him because he can make threes. And uh, look, Missouri would have beat a whole lot of teams the way they played tonight. And they beat us pretty good. But that first half was just, you know, and we were still in the game. And then you start to half and give up a basket and one. And now you're down 15 when you were down 12 and you had a chance. We got it to eight or nine. And then we go turnover, three turnover, it's 8-0 run. What? Those aren't my team. So I got to go back and really figure out, you know, some of it's personnel. I think we got good players, and but some guys aren't playing great. I mean, uh, CJ being out um, hurt us, but it gave Adu a chance, and Adu did pretty good. But look, you got to give them credit. That was what they did to us. Um, you know, I, I look and, and uh, you know, some of the stuff, like, wasn't bad. You know, uh, but 14 turnovers and some of them, all of them at, like, critical times. Um, but they're good. When they shoot the ball the way they shot it, and, again, we miss free throws again, and I'm trying everything from mental to, you know, shoot 100 to we're shooting one-on-ones if you miss we run I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff but I don't want to make it that big an issue but it is when you get the game to where it was if we had made some free throws now it may be four or five and it's a little different feel to it but I, I give them credit they uh, they deserved to win the game and they deserve because of how they played a couple of those John where Missouri had gone to a zone uh, and after you cut it to eight, I think it was nine, I think, and then they went to zone and come down and get two threes right in a row. With just reacting to that. Yeah, they. we ended up uh, playing it a little different. You know, I was trying to uh, do some lob stuff, and they, they muscled a guy off, and we weren't able to get it. But um, we ended up saying we're going with our two bigs. You're spread out, and that's what we did. Uh, but we had a turnover. We got it in the middle where we wanted it, and the guy bounces it out. Boom, they make it three. I got to call a timeout. They come back. and um, But I thought when we settled in, we were we were fine against the zone. I thought we played too wide at the top. But John, you've dealt with difficult lineup challenges before, and you've been successful. What is it about this team that, that makes it so challenging? Well, we're different because we got Oscar. You could say, well, let's just come down and have everybody out on the floor. You have Oscar. So you got to play a little different. The issue becomes if they don't play a couple of the guys on the floor, now Oscar's got three guys around him. That's an issue for us. So we've got to figure out some of it. I told him at halftime, come down and throw him the ball. And we still, I thought, some of them, what happens, he's open. It's a dogfight in there. So if you go like this and then try to pass it to him, that guy's fighting to get around. He's fighting to keep him behind. There were opportunities to throw it in and do that. But again, you know, we, uh, um, I mean, we had like five wide open shots and didn't make them. That takes the wind out of your sails. And you don't have to make them all, but how about go one for five or two for five? Um, so, but we'll see. I Look, I haven't lost any faith. I've been through tough stuff, and uh, um, I knew this would be a hard game, but I thought we would play better. I knew they would play better because they just beat Illinois, and they're making shots, and they're, you know, they're doing, uh, they're being aggressive and doing some good stuff. But I thought we, I liked the fact that they were going to spread the court on us because I thought we could get run downhill and get threes. And we did. And we missed them all. I didn't. I, I thought we were, this was the game we wanted to play. Um, but they did a good job uh, in the end. They ground. They ground it out like my teams do. I mean, you get that lead, and now we're going to grind it. We're going to shoot late in the clock. Get a back door. Make a tough three. 
Um, they were good today. I, I give uh, all the credit to uh, Missouri. John, Oscar said the physicality maybe wasn't where he thought it needed to be tonight from your team. Did you see a difference in, in that between the two teams or not? Um, well, they, they have played physical most of the year. They're, they're going to bump and grind. They're older. Um, um, we had a couple guys that when the game got physical, they couldn't be in there. And so that's what I did was, okay, who will fight? Who's going to battle? And that's who I put in. Now you're giving up some offense, you're giving up some stuff, but um, like I said, we're uh, we're a work in progress. I said it a while ago. It's going to take some time. Oscar being out, he did some better stuff today, um, but he's still not where he was a year ago. He had knee surgery. He was out four weeks. So, um, but again, we go from the foul line, 15 for 24. I know, tough. I know it's tough after a loss, but you know, in the early stages, what's impressed you about what Dennis Gates has done with this program so far? What's that? I know it's tough after a loss, but you know, in the early stages of his time here, what's impressed you about Dennis Gates and what he's been able he's to do? He's done a great job. What he's done is he's put in a, a formula that this team, this is how they will succeed the way they're playing. We need to steal some baskets. So we're going to fly it ahead. In, in the first half, they got 10 transition baskets on us, or 10 points. Um, you know, we had our share too, but that's one of the things he's doing. And then they're being aggressive with the press and cutting into your time in the half court. Um, and he's okay if you're getting shots off. So, and, you know, if someone makes them, it, they'll probably play different. The zone, um, we knew and we had worked because he has done it most games where at some point he just, all right, we're going zone and we're playing it. And, um, you know, that, the one turn, and but Lance fought like heck. I mean, like I said, I, I still like the group. I like the locker room. You know, we're, we're a work in progress, and we gotta. There's things we gotta do uh, that we're not doing. Um, but, you know, I grabbed a couple guys after by themselves with me. You know, are you okay? And you know, I love you. You gotta play better. You know, so, but. Losing stinks, can't stand it, but we got to step up to the plate and, and, you know, maybe play less people. Damien is the next guy that gets his opportunity now. Let Damien get in there and play and do his thing, and we'll see. You have an update on CJ? I did not see him, but the trainer told me at halftime he's, he's, uh, he's out for the game. And I think the kid told me he did something to it. He dislocated it. Okay. Thanks, folks. Happy New Year.